Alright guys, um, today we are taking a look at a game called Necropolis. Um, before I dive in, let me just say that um, uh, within the next day or so, barring character death in another game, I'll have something pretty cool to show you, RE, standard ASCII roguelikes, which is uh, the main thing this game was, uh, this game, this channel was founded on. And if the sound setup that I've rigged for that works, I'll be returning to doing a lot more of that as well, because... Well, I've still been playing on the side. I haven't been sharing it because the sound would suck. But for today, we're doing an Xbox One because the sound is great on Xbox in terms of my headset. So what is Necropolis? Um, it is, I, I guess, I guess the common parlance it would be a rogue light. It is real-time, not turn-based. It is uh, 3D, not top-down on a grid. Uh, but it does have procedural generation, and it does have permadeath. Two things that I consider quintessential to making a roguelike. I would call this a real-time roguelike, but, um, or a real-time roguelite, if you prefer to, to avoid an argument. Um, before we also go in, I'll tell you a bit about where you can get it. Um, I, I know I, it's available on the Xbox, obviously. That's where I've got it going on the Xbox One. Um, I got it when it was on sale, though, for like, I don't remember what it was, maybe $3.99, maybe $6.99. I think it's a full $30 right now uh, on this and on Steam. I'm not entirely sure, but that's the last I saw it was. Um, I'm not entirely sure it's worth that level of money. But then again, the reason we're posting videos like this is so you can decide that for yourself. Um, I also haven't played in a long time, so I may not last long. The reason I, I used to abandon games is I didn't know how deep it was. I would play for a while and be like, this is somewhat interesting, and then my interest would start to wane, and I'd think, Jesus, if I got 100 levels of this, if this is Angband, I'm not going to make it through it's out of boredom. But... Um, it turns out it's only 10 levels deep, so you can beat it in like 4 hours. When armed with that knowledge, I would have probably finished in victory by now. Let's dive in and see what it's, uh, what it's like and what it's about. New game. Obviously my old game must have been on the, uh, the former machine or on the former uh, uh, hard drive. Just checking something out here. check out here. I was just curious what it was. One thing you will notice, it says at the top, Friends 3. Um, that's because you are allowed to play uh, co-op in this. In that case, the game might be pretty cool, I don't know, but I've never, I've never done it. Let's play a new game solo. Blackguard, son of Arrow. Oh, we can edit our character. With the left stick, daughter, I like son. Oh, son of a yeah, brute we can play. Let's play the standard Blackguard. I guess there are several you can play. It's kind of neat. Looks like he's a lot slower, but maybe more health, I guess. Let's play the standard. <laughs> In a time where women were women, men were men, and rat folks with the ability of human speech were well. You get the idea. I get that idea. Apparently it loads slowly. <laughs> Put your feet up, guys. Oh, there we go. Give me a second, just waking up. Hmm. Ah, yes. Once more I rise from the deepest reaches of slumber. One standard ration, which I don't remember how to use. I'm hoping there's a tutorial. <laughs> this has been like years since I've played. Right trigger does that. Left trigger does that. A jumps. I'm afraid to press a button that uses a standard ration. It doesn't pause. That's interesting. It doesn't pause when you do this. Is there a uh, controls? Oh, there we go. Pressing the back button opens your inventory. You see we have an old longsword, tier zero. Footman's buckler and black guard robes. This is a tier two standard ration. Adventurers carefully pack these so they might rot on their corpse sometime later. <laughs> it's a 
doesn't really tell me what, what it is, although you press X to use it in there. You stepped across the threshold and entered the necropolis of Oasis. Only the most resourceful can survive here for long. I'm not very resourceful. Gods, kings, and monsters. Oh, there we go. For a second. I'll obey the edicts of controller and layout. <laughs> okay, so we got it right here. That's a, that's a pretty cool way to do it. Um, so heavy attack, hold it to do a... Oh, so right bumper is a light attack. Left bumper is raise the shield. Dodge. Alright. That's B. Cycle items. That's all we have, so we can't really test that right now. Look, lock on is right stick. X is use the current item. I'm glad I didn't switch press buttons. And move is uh, with this, and sprint is pressing it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, got it. Hey, we're getting stuff here. We got essential oil. What does that do? I don't. I don't know. Maybe nothing. I don't know. I turn up my ears a tiny bit in case there's like a monster I'm supposed to be hearing. Visually, the game looks fucking cool as hell. Music sounds like I'm in a fight. What the hell's going on? Gaze upon me. I am the brazen head. Help me restore order here, and I will reward you with tokens of favor. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'll take your word for it. Can't take anything from this, it's already empty, I guess. The scriptorium is coin-operated. Earn tokens of favor in order to unlock codexes. Old man, so you can buy stuff off him. I see, for a lot of a lot of money. I have seven, it looks like. My my frickin' bar again. Hold on, I'm gonna adjust my bar, guys. My um recording bar, so it's not blocking the information I vitally need. Alright, we're off to a slow start here. The scrounge continues to behave more or less, otherwise you would be chest deep in the byproducts of monstrous digestive tracts. Damn it, I missed that because I was adjusting my frickin' broadcast bar. Isn't that wonderful? What does this interact? Oh, okay. You can read. What a pleasant surprise. Unlock and equip codexes. Unlocked codexes will be available for the next adventurer. Eating is overrated. Tier 1. Man, I ain't, ain't hungry. I already ate three weeks ago. Buy it? Sure. Apparently, this is my first on on this hard drive. This is my first thing here. What, I got a, I got an achievement for that. I've played this game before. I must have done that at some point. Maybe I never did this. All right. Crafting is better living through alchemy. All right. Back where we started. I used to know a blackguard who was great at this. How about you? No. We have these objectives in the bottom. Oh, shit. A bad aim at it. <laughs> All right, that wasn't so bad. It was kind of fun. <laughs> oh, anything else we missed back here? We have a stamina bar. That little blue bar at the bottom is a stamina bar. 
When you run, it depletes. Probably when you fight, too. Fuck. I turned my back on him and raised my shield. That was smart. Seems to be working so far. Let's see what we got here. A pariah blade. Did I automatically start using it? What is this? Looks like I'm already using it in some uh, fashion. Oh, here's how we craft stuff. That's interesting. We, we could make a standard ration. I don't know what this means. What is... Is there a reason I want to use that versus... My old one? Both tier zero. Stick with our old sword, or rusty blade. There's a lot of these guys over here. I don't like it. It's a hell of a yell. I don't need another one of those. We already got one. I think. It's kind of a boring method of combat right now, but for the moment it's working, so why not use what works, right? Call Argamel, the tyrant who died during the retreat of Cam from a broken heart. I mean, someone stabbed him, but his heart broke. Was oh, that what this says on the wall? Okay. What does it say? After the defeat of Gravix and the anointing of the legendary 13. We gotta hurry with this guy, or we're gonna be caught up by this guy. Shit, didn't quite work as well at the time. Low quality mundane weapons. Do you want this in any way? It looks cooler. Seems like it swings a little faster. After the defeat of Grax and the anointing of the legendary 13, Abraxas returned and shut himself away. Somebody was grumpy. Let's get this guy's attention. We got two of their attention, damn it. Three of their attention, damn it. Let's get the fuck out of here for a second. Are all of them coming? All of them. Can you protect me, God? I like this faster blade.
All right, well, this faster blade is kind of cool. I don't think we can sell anything over here, can we? Is this just me? She's not even a salesman. Maybe this was just the place you get the book that I apparently never got before. Look at all the shit I'm carrying. Both was cut. Oh, they're selling it for seven twenty, but I can't sell anything, right? Oh, this is what they're selling. That was what I was carrying for a minute. So it does give you back health. Also, I don't know if you noticed, the blue bar was slightly depleted, um, like permanently, like getting tired. So maybe you need to eat it once in a while to replenish that as well. That's guesswork. They seem to be somewhat valuable, those guys. Heavy swing there. He did drop a new weapon here, a uh, cracked longsword. When choosing between this weapon and, let's say, a rabbit, go with a rabbit. Mundane blades like this one are mildly useful against all foes. I'll be honest, I'm enjoying the speed of this thing, so I'm not going to mess with it. That may just be a blatant mistake. Like, I don't know, maybe you really need the, uh, Heavier weapon, I don't know. Oh, there's more. I thought there was a like a finite number of really spawning? I thought there's a finite number of creatures in the levels or not. Feels like a good way to die. Oh, they're all still following me for fuck's sakes. And it's a dead end. Looks like I lost them though. Kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. At least for the moment. Alright. There's something red over there. What the hell is that? Oh, this is one of those little diamond cube guys. Oh, fuck. Fuck that up, guys. Okay, so when I'm trying to run, I shouldn't be using the... Uh, when I'm trying to dodge, rather, pressing B to dodge. I've also been pulling the lever to go back, and I shouldn't be. Ah, that's bullshit. Come on, buddy. Shit. Fuck me. Oh, there's a special guy with him, like a fucking skeleton or something. I 
thought there was. If so, he's gone. They don't eat now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I seem to think I seem to remember thinking there was like a finite number of enemies in the level, but it looks like they're spawning. At the very least on this first level. I could be wrong about this, of course. Like, is there no experience? Am I just supposed to progress and then I can get um potentially, you know, loot from them, but no experience? I don't know. Whoa. Tells me I'm not gonna make it very far here. I can always go back and buy more food. I may have to do that. Can I break these things? Yes, I can. Or do that. Rotten food. What do you think that does? Let's find out the hard way. Well, that was food, kind of. Maybe it gives you a little bit of health. Hurry, buddy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't dodge. I guess there's shit behind me or something. I didn't know you could break all this shit, too. Alright. Learning the hard way about everything here. I mean, I don't want to head all the way back, but I think we can buy food. I hate the idea of dealing with all this shit again, all these people. I'm going to get him too, maybe. Second swipe. That's cool. I thought I saw lightning in this guy. It's kind of neat. Get lots of crafting materials. I could probably make my own food at this point. Maybe I should even try that. Flash. I can make this. I can make a second one? Yep. Yeah, I don't have to go all the way back. So that's kind of neat. A little bit evil, aren't I? Have I not been picking up stuff too? Have I not? I, I, I've been bumping into stuff and thinking I'm picking up everything. Maybe you have to press Y once in a while. I got some sort of magic scroll. It looks like. What is this? Unknown potion. It's a fan fancy bottle, but so it must be good, right? That sure is a magic scroll. Magic word, magic word, magic word, and a very creepy skull symbol. Alright. Give me one second for coffee, guys. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's get this little guy. Oh, I've been picking stuff up. Darn it. Jesus, I'm really sucking. Not just sucking at, you know, my, my hand-eye coordination, although I'm sucking at that, but also sucking in understanding the mechanics of the game. 
But we're learning. We're learning together. Like besties. So it was just a little treasure chest. Can't quite get through here, eh? I don't think I can break this, can I? Nope. Or if so, it takes a lot more blows than I was giving it. I do love the aesthetic of this game. And procedural generation, you... You had me at procedural generation. You had me at proc gen. You had me at proc gen. Um, and permadeath. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the, uh... Whoa. Two of these guys. Longsword. No, we're gonna stick with our fucking fast little blade here. Until we get a tier one thing, I think we're gonna stick with this because it's working. Maybe what we will do is this. What the hell? Let's select this for a minute and then pick up at this. No, do the opposite. Do that wrong? I did that exactly wrong. So the weapon you're carrying is one you're going to drop for the new weapon. So you now have a cracked longsword. And a, that's, our old, that's our old screamer blade. Oh, come on. Much slower. It probably does more damage. So we have the option, at least. Until we find a crossbow or something. We have the option of, uh, of two different swords. For what that's worth. Yeah, fuck you, little wall. I almost went over the edge there. Come on, quit yelling. Just come at me. Fuck, that was a mistake. I handled that exactly wrong. Handle that as wrong as humanly possible. What the hell's going on? No, oh, it's taking his time and giving that guy's loot up. Oh, we're using that. Let's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's go to this. Let's use this. I didn't really see what it was. I just thought it was tier one. Still slow again. Alright, I don't like it as much. <laughs> oh, although that one hit did it. That's pretty good. Does a lot of damage. Can I determine what I'm... I'll take a look at it in a second after I kill these guys. Hopefully with one hit each. Nope. Whoa, don't go off the edge there, buddy. Hooked blade. Jesus, they just keep coming here. I just want to see what the hell I'm carrying, that's all. That bastard sword, this blunted hunk of iron, belongs to an awful person. It's only suitable for bashing things, but on the plus side, that does make it decent for fighting grind. I'm guessing grind is what these 
monstrous things are called. I think we're probably going to want to kill that gold guy at some point. My question is when that some point is. Do we just go up and get him now? Or do we heal first and then go up and get him? There's a lot of shit up here too. Let's go fight that gold guy. Slash this guy. Oh, this one had armor, it looks like. Oh. No, he wasn't so bad. Pyramid short sword, an arcane blade designed for the hollow men by Abraxas himself. Cuts through the gem eater hide like a hot knife through porridge. Pick up clockwork gears. I mean, it's still tier zero. Dunn's bashing stick, tier one. If at first you don't succeed, bash and bash again. So said Dunn, and when dealing with the necropolis, skeleton infestation is pretty solid advice. So let's switch our other blade, our fast blade that we like, to that. And it looks like maybe we use this against undead. And the other one... Okay, right and left on the uh, on the D-pad will switch for me. Pyramid Buckler. Tier 1. Unfortunately, this is a mundane shield. A triangle of gold and metal used to deflect attacks. It's well constructed, I suppose. I'll swap that, for sure. Versus our old boring buckler. Oh, it disappeared. Interesting. Nam Lugal's Cure. Every hit from this cursed blade slows the pulse of the victim. They won't know what hit them. Should we try it? So see see the uh, speed. I don't know. Let's try it. So this is not a great way to go. <laughs> Unless you want to fall to your death. Maybe there's some degree of finiteness to the... Uh... Fuck. I think it might be a little faster than the old one. He has some degree of finiteness to the fucking fuck. To the monsters, because, um. I've seen one up here for a while. Looks like one of them went over the edge. I saw him fall. No? I would have thought maybe. Nope. Oh, it does do some sort of interesting thing to them. It's enchanted in some way. a lot of stuff from them. Well, I like my enchanted blade. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> and unexpected. I 
hear one of those little rabbit pigs again, too. Hey, another scroll, another potion. Arcane dust, it looks like I got. Lots of money now. Never used that yet. Okay. I have that. There is the entire other avenue back the way we came of course to look at too but let's, let's just go on for here for now like where we started there was another door another way to go this might be the way onward you see that little uh i think that might take us to the next level i think but let's look around before we step on it just in case we're what was this okay i lit it Yes. Let's be on this in the sort of pretty pretty area. I don't know what that does. Do I want it? You've gained power in defense, calligraphy, and small talk. <laughs> Can we see um the character stats? Is there is there character stats? It may have upgraded my Blackguard robes. I'm not sure. These might have been tier 0 before. Maybe. Or... Do we have two different bucklers? Black Seattle is the Baphist goddess of fire, substance, and casual outerwear. The shield renders you less vulnerable to being staggered. Let's use that for now. Maybe we just received that. It's possible. Also, that was a gift. Oh, what are these guys? Potion of Vigor restores what is lost due to blade and bone. So it's a healing potion. It's funny what some of these scrolls can do. Identification, of course. Let's buy that. The libraries of Braxis were smashed and burned, yet some codexes still remain. A little reading would do you well, mortal. Um, let's do this one. This is, yeah, let's use this. On. Oh, potion of big boy strength. <laughs> Imagine you were stronger and you hit harder. Now to sell that and put it in a bottle. That's what this is. Did we already learn it? Oh, maybe it identified everything. In my, I, I thought I had to use it on something. It identified everything I was carrying. That's pretty cool. Scroll of boom. Let's say you wanted everyone in a 20 meter radius dead. All you need to say are these words. <laughs> Scroll of the vampire. Once included a matching cloak, but shipping was far too expensive. Oh yeah, dreams energies. Enemies of health and restores your vigor. That's pretty cool. Elifoff's mystical boon. Just one swig, you'll experience a feeling of health and resilience that really lasts. Safe when taken as directed. Okay. So we can go through these by using the D-pad. Let's go to a scroll of boom to have it on hand in case we get surrounded again. As I said, I have not played in a very, very long time. It is possible that the game has been upgraded you know since I last played i.e. more added in I don't remember there being these magical weapons and stuff I don't know it feels feels pretty cool to me right now 
I remember not being impressed a lot with the game, and yet I'm having a lot of fun with it right now, so I don't know. I might be going very slow here. Um, they said it's like a four hour game, and we're not even done dungeon level one yet, and it's almost an hour, so. I acknowledge that I may be dragging my feet or something. Hey, we. That's interesting. <laughs> can, we, can we learn from that or anything? Is that another one of these, uh. What about this thing? If only you could understand the implications of what you see here. Whole treatises on the 39th secret would have been re would have to be rewritten. Right, can I learn from it or anything? Can I gain something from it? I'm not entirely clear on the story here. The mighty Abraxas, Lord of Mirrors, who sits forever on the Onyx throne, was a great patron of the arts. Um. I'm not entirely sure what... You know, we're serving some sort of triangular-headed god, the Great Head or something like that. But I'm not really sure where we are. Or why we're here. I don't know if that was explained to me elsewhere and I missed it or what. I mean, it's not like the game came with a manual. That seems to be it for up here. Nothing we can do with this, eh? I would have thought for sure this would be... Hmm, not precisely sure why this is here. <laughs> me either. Well, let's go back downstairs, I guess. Of all the treasures in the Acropolis, the Amulet of Seol is the most prized. Don't get any ideas, sticky fingers. <laughs> I enjoy that thing's voice. It's kind of fun. Sorry I'm talking over it. But it is our policy to read shit like that when it comes up in our game. We do have finite inventory, that's why I'm not buying us a ton. You can see we're running out of space already. We're going to go on this in a second. I think it's going to take us to the next level. Let's look over here first. Oh. Speaking of libraries. Scriptorium, you can read. What a pleasant surprise. Unlock and equip codexes. Unlocked codexes will be available for the next adventure. Man, I ain't hungry. Um, isn't this what you already did? Oh, we can just pick one. I see. Combat got you down. Regenerate size. Don't feel the burn. Instead, take it easy for a second and get back to fighting sooner. Does this mean I heal like passively? That would be the one. I'm not going to know for a while. I didn't look at all the others, admittedly, but if I heal passively, that's great. Oh, that sure is a magic scroll. We don't know what this one does, unfortunately, but it's here. <laughs> that tier two. Climb in a minute. Let's check these bookcases again in case we missed anything. I could probably switch if I wanted to. Makes rotten food worthwhile. Does it tell us how much it costs? It only costs four? Orgolum's crossbow. There's this place, different on every monster, but if you can hit that place, they totally fall over pretty full. I would take that, but we don't have a crossbow yet. The Burly Ogre's Guide to No Fall Down. Can I face enemy head on? Can I stay standing tall against any blow? Smashing stuff. Then go down. Maybe it does more damage if we use this? Let's take that. All right. We have the guide to smashing stuff. Let's climb this thing. It only left us with one of those little triangle units of currency, whatever that means. Ah, literally nothing up here of value. 
That is, of course, the nature of proc gen. You never know if you're getting something good. That's how you do a ladder on dead labs. All right. Do we dare set foot in here? Or will it hurt us? This seems to hurt. Doesn't help either. <laughs> Before the attack. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up here, but it's worth worth taking a look. Nope. Alright, let's step on this thing and see what happens. Yep, yeah, oh, going down. To level two. Do not kill everything. I need monsters to stock the menagerie on this level when you are through. <laughs> My god, it's funny. Alright guys, <clears throat> here we are at the start of level 2. I think I'm going to call it right here only because, um, well, A, it's the start of level 2, good place to cut, and B, my wife will be up soon, um, and I've got things to do with her. So, we're going to call it right here. I'll be back uh, tomorrow, likely, with more Necropolis. Let's see if we can figure out how to save this. Um, save and exit. Save and exit to title screen. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, but save it, right? Presumably that's saved. I guess we'll find out the hard way tomorrow. All right, man, I'm enjoying this. Peace.